Critics of Islam Claiming the Quran today is not authentic and that it contains contradictions. I challenge anyone to point out any two verses in the Quran which contradict. They know that if the Quran is proven authentic, it debunks all their claims. As the Quran being unchanged, that in itself is a miracle. This means the revelation which was received by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, through the angel Gabriel 1400 years ago is the exact same message we get to experience by just opening this book. Surely a true God would ensure his message is untampered with. How will we receive true guidance without his direct message? In Islamic tradition, there is a clear chain of narration. This was transmitted through memorization and writing. Why do you see millions of young Muslim children, even from the age of three, memorizing 114 chapters, 604 pages, or 6,236 verses? Allah answers this in the Quran. And we have certainly made the Quran easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? In this video, we will give case studies of old Quran copies found, and we'll test if they are indeed the same in text, thus proving if the Quran is preserved or not. Let's take a look at the course of time and evaluate different Quran manuscripts. This is a 253-year-old Quran found in a bookshop in Tokyo, Japan. Here is the opening surah of the Quran. I want you to tell me if it reads the same way as it did 1,400 years ago. This copy I found here in Japan, it belonged to a professor of Middle Eastern studies who has since passed away. I found it at a bookshop here in Tokyo, Japan. The beautiful copy is bordered by art with a small area of text containing the opening surah, Al-Fatiha, same as any Quran. 315 years old Quran. This copy of the Quran is closer to the modern timeline. This copy is written around the year 1708 AD. Here is the opening surah of this Quran. I want you to tell me if it reads the same way. Tell me in the comments if this copy of the Quran from the year 1120, according to the Hijri calendar, reads the same way. The blue Quran dates back to the late 9th or early 10th century. Its script type is Kufic. The majority of it is now housed at the National Institute of Art and Archaeology Bardo National Museum in Tunis, Tunisia. 67 folios are housed at the Musée de Civilisation et des Arts Islamiques in Rakada, Tunisia. One folio is housed at the The Los Angeles County Museum of Art in California, USA. And the remaining folios are housed at various museums around the world. It is one of the most well-known and gorgeous antique Qurans in the world. The Blue Quran is thought to have been written for the Great Mosque of Kairaman in Tunisia. The pages are written in gold ink on indigo-colored vellum which gives it a characteristic blue color. The complex official documents created by the Christian Byzantine Empire most likely impacted the writing of the Quran in gold on blue vellum. The Samarkand Kufic Quran, kept in Tashkent, is a Kufic manuscript, regarded as one of Uthman's manuscripts in Uzbek tradition, but dated to the 8th or 9th century by paleographic research and carbon dating of the parchment. Radiocarbon dating revealed a 95.4% likelihood of a date between 795 and 855. However, the Kamarkand Kufic Quran is a significant artifact that is prized for its historical and theological significance. Its early calligraphy and sculptuous preservation shed light on the evolution of Arabic script and the devotion of the Quran throughout history. The text attests to the Quran's ongoing presence and essential importance in Islamic culture and spirituality. Before we continue, please consider to like and subscribe with the bell notification so it means you're updated whenever we upload a new video. It's free, and if you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe. If you'd like to support this channel financially, as this is the only way this channel is funded for now, please consider supporting via the Patreon link in the description. Let's continue. The Topkapi Manuscript, located at the Topkapi Palace Museum in Istanbul, Turkey, 
dates to the early to mid-8th century. It is considered the oldest near-complete Quran in existence, despite being more recent than previously thought. Scholars value the Topkapki manuscript for its insights into the early textual evolution of the Quran. While it was formerly supposed to be an authentic Quran commissioned by Uthman, the third caliph, current research has revealed that it is not as old as previously claimed. However, it is still an important artifact for studying the history of the Quran. Its presence at the museum contributes to our understanding of the Quran's textual development and attests to the Quran's lasting value in Islamic culture. The Codex Parisino Petropolitanus. The Codex Parisino Petropolitanus is a 98 folio Quran manuscript dating back to the late 7th or early 8th century. Some folios are held at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, the National Library of Russia, the Vatican Library, and the Khalili Collection in London. The manuscript has been distributed to the following institutions. 70 folios are housed at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France in Paris, 26 at the National Library of Russia in St. Petersburg, one at the Vatican Library, and another at the Khalili Collection in London. According to Yassin Dutan's research, the text may have originated in Syria because it contains readings or recitations related to Aben Amir of Damascus. The Codex is an important proof of the Quranic text early transmission and preservation. The Ma'il Quran The Ma'il Quran is an 8th century Quran from the Arabian Peninsula between 700 and 799 CE. It comprises two-thirds of the Quranic text and is included in one of the world's oldest Qurans. It was purchased by the British Museum from Reverend Greville John Chester in 1879 and is now housed in the British Library. The Sanaa Manuscript The Sanaa Manuscript is a remarkable Quranic manuscript unearthed in 1972 during renovations to Yemen's Great Mosque of Sanaa. It is a collection of parchments and paper fragments including Quranic and non-Quranic literature. However, the text was discovered to be extremely degraded and fragmented necessitating intensive restoration work. The Sanaa manuscript is thought to have been written between 632 and 671 AD, making it an extremely valuable early Islamic artifact. Radiocarbon dating has yielded a high level of accuracy, with a bottom codex dated to 671 AD with 99% certainty. The Tubingen Fragment The Tubingen Fragment is a piece of an ancient Quranic manuscript preserved at the University of Tübingen in Tübingen, Germany. It is thought to be one of the oldest existing manuscripts of the Quran, dating from 649 AD to 675 AD. It has been in the property of the University of Tübingen since the 19th century, when it was acquired by Johann Gottfried Wettstein, the first Prussian consul to Damascus. The fragment was dated using current C14 radiocarbon analysis, yielding a range of 649 AD to 675 AD, with a 95.4% statistical likelihood. The Birmingham Quran Manuscript The Birmingham Quran Manuscript is believed to be the oldest Quran in the world. It consists of two leaves of parchments, dated between 568 CE and 645 CE. Currently located at the University of Birmingham in England, it is written in Arabic Hijazi script. Codex Mashad The title Codex Mashad refers to an old Quran codex, which is now primarily preserved in two manuscripts. MSS 18 in 4116 in Mashhad, Iran. The first manuscript in 122 folios and the second in 129 folios together comprise more than 90% of the text of the Quran, and further fragments are likely to be discovered in Mashhad or elsewhere in the world. The existing codex is divided into two volumes, MSS 18 and 4116. The former contains the first half of the Quran, from the beginning to the end of the 18th surah, Al-Kaf, and the latter from the middle of the 20th surah to the end of the Quran. It is also worth noting that the script of this manuscript is comparable to that of Codex M, A6-165 in Tübingen, Germany, Codex Adab 331 in Paris, and Codex Vestein II-1913 in Berlin. The combined radiocarbon dating of these manuscripts places them in the first century of Hijra. Quranic manuscripts have retained heavenly wisdom with amazing perfection throughout the ages. These manuscripts from the delicate strokes of ancient scribes to the digitized wonders of today stand as miracles of dedication and artistry. They ensure that the Quran's beauty endures. 
touching hearts and souls for future generations and delivering the message of Allah without any change over time. It ensures that the Book of Allah will remain preserved and a source of true guidance forever.